Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with another uh, Dragalia Lost video. Today going over the update 1.16 that is coming to the game. It's looking to be super um, friendly to new people, and it's got some cool stuff in it, so I just wanted to talk about it. I haven't fully read everything, so if you'll um, excuse me with some of the things I'm like trying to read. But basically that's it. That's today's video. So if you like that, um, leave, if you like the idea that you should leave a like, uh, and if you're not subscribed to me, you should subscribe. So let's get into it. So first things first, you can currently download it right now. Uh, it will become mandatory on the 26th. Um, so here's the update de details. First, there's a new, new, wow, why am I suddenly stuttering? That's weird. There's a new revive feature. Um, uh, we will add a new root feature where an adventurer whose HP falls to zero will automatically revive in certain quests. There is a limit to how many times you can revive during a quest and the number is tracked separately for each player. The number of times you can revive in a quest varies from quest to quest. And you can see right here, um, they got HMS, Experts, the number of revives you can do there is two, and um, they have like victory conditions, special rules. Huh. Interesting. Oh, special rules is cannot continue. All right, so now uh, there's always been special rules to certain events, but now they'll just tell you straight up, like, hey, right here at the menu. Um, you will receive a survival bonus when you clear the quest, and the contents of the survival bonus will change based on how many times you were revived. The fewer times you were revived, the better survival bonus you will be able to obtain. The survival bonus content differs based on quests, and you can see right here on HMS, they got extra um, high middle megastorm. I can never pronounce his name, but they got more orbs for him and a tail drop. It looks like for winning with zero revives. More information on reviving. Select the menu on the top of the screen, then tap Help Up Support to find reviving under Help. This item title received will be added to help around 7 p.m. on the 26th. Um, all right. That, this is a fantastic update, and it's funny that it's coming right around Monster Hunter. Someone pointed out to me, um, I believe it was Crimson, that we're getting like basically three revives at the same time as the Monster Hunter collab, which you can revive up to three times in Monster Hunter before uh, it's considered the quest is done. Like, you can't continue it, so I think that's pretty funny. It's also a good addition. It's super helpful, especially for like being able to like beat certain events. Like, if it, it would also help with, like, learning, because some of the, like, the, this is mainly going to help in stuff like High Dragon Trials, where I'll start recording videos on it now that I know how to do it, but some of those fights, it's literally, like, I make one mistake and I die, and that's it. <laughs> and the the game is done, the team is done, because literally that was our one shot, and I, I blew it completely, and basically everyone just starts, that's when you start seeing people going, like, give up, give up, give up, because it's, like, there's no point in continuing. So good feature, both for new and old players, because I like that uh, people who already know how to do the fight will get extra bonuses for like being able, it makes grinding easier, which I think is good. Um, so here's the other thing they're adding, you'll be able to invite other players to join your alliance. So when you're actually like playing co-op, if you like a person so much, they're helping you a whole bunch, you can just invite them. It's a pretty simple feature. I still wish there was more to do in alliances as it is right now, because it's usually just a good place. Let's actually check. Um, the current Trash Alliance, see how everyone's doing. I'm gonna throw up a, uh, if you're watching anything from here, you'll know. Uh, I'm gonna throw out a boom. Perfect. Alright. Let's get back into the video. Yeah, I wish there was more to do for alliances. <laughs> it's silly to me to add, um, alliance updates when it's like, there's nothing you do with, a, with alliances currently, really. <laughs> so... Um, oh, also, everyone's gonna get a tenfold summer voucher when the update happens, so that's cool. Okay, let's go. Fight other players. Nice, nice, nice. There's a new mentor bonus feature. If a player has already cleared an advanced dragon trial on standard or expert difficulty, clears the quest with a player who has not cleared it before, they will be able to receive a special mentor bonus reward. Note, the, bonus, the mentor bonus reward does not apply to prelude and master difficulties. There is a limit to the, there's a limit to the number of times you can get a mentor bonus, and the limit will reset each week. The mentor bonus will will unlock on the 28th. So basically, this is just like giving you um, free warmite. Yeah, that's a, I. John, John, one of the leaders from Trash Alliance, calls them Skittles. So I've just been calling them Skittles, but you'll get some Skittles from it. Um, 
which is good. I think that helps, again, people who have already been in it, gives them a reason to help people who are new out, or if you're, like, going with a friend and your friend needs help, you can get rewarded for stuff like that. I think it's cool. So, another good feature coming forward. New stickers. Here's some cool stickers. Let me see what the names are here. Want to join up? Let's fight together. Shapeshift now. Good night. See ya. Uh, time for a break. Up and down. No, not up and down. It's like directions. These stickers can be used in co-op rooms or screens during the quest. Now, I love that they show a high Mercury trial for this one because this is maybe the mo the one where you need the most direction and it's actually the most infuriating on standard. I haven't done expert, but uh, Lerp tells me that on expert it's actually much easier because the people who have who are able to do expert high Mercury the dragon trial uh, HMC. Um, they have to beat standard, so they all know what they're doing <laughs> for the most part. So, um, still, I mean, good good sticker edition, I'll say, because it's uh, it will certainly help, and especially helps for like if you're also wanting to teach friends how to play it without actually talking to them, because you need a lot of um, need a lot of coordination for this stuff, because it can be extremely tough. It's not an easy thing to learn. Um, not will give you advice in high advanced dragon trials now as you can see here she's like telling them like a group up um, the idea is is that some players just don't understand like i think this is a good example of it of like some players actively avoid the tracking they don't know that um for the red tracker you're supposed to um you're supposed to actually like group up so you all take less damage uh, because if you leave a person to take the damage by themselves i think even if it's three people you basically all die <laughs> Like, everyone needs to be there to tank it together. Um, so that's good. I'm curious to see what other kind of advice she'll give during the fight. We'll see. I would say, like, it's good because, for the most part, you've been basically be having to use, like... Like, you have to understand when he says, Time to tear you asunder, that he knows that he's about to freaking unleash the hurricanes in the back, so you should get away from the top. Um, so I'll be interested to see how that, uh, how that advice goes. Extended time limit for advanced dragon trials in the date update to be applied around 6 30 p.m. January 26 the time limit for all difficulty levels of advanced dragon trials will be changed from 5 minutes to 10 minutes This change will not affect the parameters of any of the advanced dragon trial quests or the content of the drop rewards This is great because there have been so many fights Where we lose literally because we don't do enough damage like we literally did the entire fight um and for a lot of people like who are new, they don't understand that like if you're too cautious and you're not doing constant DPS, you won't be able to beat the dragon in the five minute mark. At most, you'll 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 actually come dangerously close and lose. So I've lost a good number of like fights um, on my learning with like randos um, for HMS that like we took it to the five minute, and if we had literally an extra minute, I would have been able to beat it, but we just didn't, so we lost. So. I'll good update, I would say. Another good update. Very good for like learning. Main campaign normal quest will now cost zero stamina when you do it for the first time. Basically, since they've realized that the main campaign locks a lot of stuff, um, they said like whatever. Now it's free, just go for all the story free. <laughs> um which is good. I, I, this is something I don't think they really need to do because now I think a lot of new people are going to have a crazy amount of stamina, but should be fine. Uh, new treasure trad, treasure trad, treasure trade tabs. Tabs based on reward type will be added to the certain treasure trades. This will make it easier to find the rewards you are looking for in treasure trades, such as the treasure trade for void battles, which are the type of rewards. Okay. Other changes, we will adjust the pro prologue UI. We will greatly increase the damage dealt when shape, shape, shape. shape shape shifting during the prologue we will make it possible to tap to tap to skip 3d movie lines which such as those that play during the prologue we will change the single summon you get the first time you play a tutorial after creating game data which is guaranteed to summon a five adventurer into a tenfold summon which guarantees you at least one four or higher of the in the applicable summon showcase after performing a tenfold summon in the first time you play the tutorial, you will additionally be able to select one adventure from the following Makoto, Ezalef, Xander, Zanfried, Hawk, Maribel, Julieta, Heligard, and Nefaria. Oh, Nefaria is new. I don't think you were able to pick Nefaria previously. Yeah, right? Was there really no dark? Yeah, no, there wasn't. That, that's weird. 
um, and the Feria. You will be able to check the information for your selected adventure during the day of download that occurs directly after the initial tutorial summon. This basically changes everything about rerolling. <laughs> Because now, the good move to do, you can do one of two things. You can re-roll when there's no uh, Gala Banner, which means that you can know which hero you want, which from these selections you would want either um, Makoto, Ezelef, Sander, um, Maribel, or Julieta. Those seem like the... Um, yeah, those seem like the ones you're most likely to get. I'm... Because you don't want Hawk, and you don't want... Well, actually, you would want Hildegard, but it's weird to start off with, like, a healer. And a fairy, you might actually want a fairy. I don't know. This one's weird. Um, but being able to choose one of them, you can pick one of them and then immediately go into, like, um, going with a dragon to choose over them. So you can get, like, a good... You can get Konohana Sakio, and then you can get Makoto or Ezelef. If you want to go with Xander, you can get Leviathan or Siren, and then you're perfectly good to start from there. Stuff like that. Uh, and of course, if you're re-rolling your Gala Banner, now you can just literally roll the Gala unit in the front before you even start. You no need to do like, uh, um, wait to see how many free summons you get and stuff like that. But it's interesting. It's a interesting change. I want to say that the summon... That's right. It wasn't Nefaria. It was... Um, no, I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused with Nefaria and the... I mean, just to be sure, Nefaria is the bow unit, right? Okay, I was getting her confused with the caster. By caster, I mean the, um, the other... Yes, okay, this is Nefaria. That's right, she was there on day one. No, this makes sense. You would never want to get Nefaria or Hawk <laughs> or Xanfried. Thanks to you, I'm catching up to Dad. Let's... Okay, thank you. Tell me about your dad. All right, let's get back into it. Let me see. Other changes. The auto feature will now unlock after playing main campaign. Ooh, wow. You can now auto way sooner when using a quick play in co-op and a room is created because one could not be found. The room conditions will be set to elemental all, weapon type all, might zero. This is amazing because currently, if you choose quick play and then you become the leader from it, you can no longer like set any of the parameters and a lot of the times you want to kind of set parameters if you're suddenly like oh i guess i'm now currently the person in charge of this so let me quickly set some parameters i think it's good um the ui we will also adjust the ui on some screens we will adjust some graphics and reduce data size Ooh, that's very good um they also have fixed some issues yeah all right so yeah that's the update i think it's a lot of good updates to look forward as we go get ready for monster hunter because <laughs> the like, obviously a lot of these were already being planned, but it's smart to start rolling them around the time for, like, Monster Hunter, where we're going to have brand new people join in, and it's really beneficial to the people still playing. I think I like this kind of system where they're like, now it's easier, but if you're already, like, super learned in it, it only makes it, like, easier for you. It makes it easier for you, but also not in a way that's, like, if you're still playing at peak per like the fight doesn't change what changes is that now you're thinking of something else like i think it's a good addition for sure um yeah and that's it that's all the data we got for today uh i hope you enjoy enjoyed this video if you did leave a like for sure if you're not subscribed subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a good day goodbye